Hello, I'm the BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to Seed Sunday. Seed Sunday is a weekly series I run on my channel where I show you Seed's Minecraft console edition, which are particularly interesting and worth checking out somewhere. And this week's Seed is one I really quite like because it follows on from the trend of last week, except it takes it to a whole nother level. So, yeah, if you're curious as what that trend was, basically, I wanted to find Seeds where everything was relatively close to spawn, or at least everything I showed off in the video. And this week's Seed, within just a few hundred blocks of spawn, has the smallest mushroom biome I've ever seen, at least on one of these Seeds. It has uh, at least one of the smallest biomes. It also has access to free villages, a desert at Temple, a whole decent mixture of biomes, and just an amazing place to settle down. So yeah, a really decent mixture of stuff that I think you will quite all like. If you do like the video, like and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot. And let's know you do like Seed Sunday, especially these recent seeds, where again, I want to keep everything close to spawn, just so if you do want to check it out, uh, you know, give it a try and then see what happens from there, you can do it relatively fast. But yeah, with that said, uh, the seed is going to be on screen right now. It's a big list of numbers, and it actually comes in from JRock's game, so big thank you to him. He sent this on Twitter a few weeks ago, I think it was while I was in Canada. But yeah, basically, as you can see, um, yeah, it's a big thing to him. You type in that seed, you're going to spawn just over here so yeah if you do type in that uh, c s if you type in that seed you'll spawn as you can see, this spawn is a mix of a birch forest, as you can see, that goes quite far to the south, and uh, to the north, you've got a regular forest, and then a dark oak forest. So yeah, just within the spawn, you know, like, area already, you've got birch, you've got regular, and then you've got dark oak forest, but then next to that as well, you've got a desert, and you've got a plain. So a really decent mixture of biomes, which I do quite like, and if you follow uh, the plains along, so if you go to the east of the spawn, I guess this would be, uh, then you'll eventually hit this really giant, you know, lonely tree, which I kind of like, because, you know, it's like a bit of shelter, it's a lot of wood, all the cool stuff in one, but if you go even further than that, so across the desert, you'll eventually hit what, what I already said is the smallest mushroom biome I've seen in a very, very long time. So, uh, yeah, the really cool thing about having mushroom biome is you get access to mushrooms and mycelium, and this is true for that too, except it's such a tiny one that it just kind of fits on the end of this island here. So, yeah, if you've ever wanted to have one of the smallest mushroom biomes ever that you could entirely remove if you really wanted to do that, I wouldn't want to personally, but if you wanted to, you can really easily. I think it's uh, pretty awesome this exists. It's like, it's the benefits of having a mushroom biome, and if for some reason you hate them, you can remove it too, because mycelium can only spread so fast so you can remove all of it and then just be done with it which again i don't recommend at all but if that's a thing you want that's a thing you can do so yeah it's also got a tall mushroom which is a nice little rare coincidence and uh, yeah that's kind of the edge of this place here i think it's a nice place to settle down if you wanted to have uh, mushrooms nearby and uh, you wanted a nice view but assuming you want the cool rare stuff that's probably mentioned in the title or like i said earlier then you might want to head, head to the northwest instead because if you head to the north of the spawn instead of to the east then you'll find some other cool stuff so yeah like i said already five biomes over there plus the mushroom biome but let's just say five for now uh, also close by, you're going to have access to this extreme hill right here. It's a tiny extreme hill, but it still counts. You've got access to this swamp just to the south. You've got access to this tiny tiger biome. Like, it's like five trees, but still, it counts. So that's like seven biomes already. But then if you head to the north, you get even more variety because you end up with... Um, I believe there's this giant savanna biome just over here, as you can see. And then in this uh, this savanna biome right here is really notable because one, it has two lava lakes, which is cool because lava lakes can do so much, as I've shown in so many videos, but lava lakes are great. Uh, but you've got two lava lakes and just this amazingly large flatlands that is between the four things uh, that are all really cool. So yeah, it's in between uh, one, uh, you know, acacia village, in between one of those villages, in between a village there, and in between a desert temple. So four structures of note, all in this amazing place to sell down. And personally, that's, that's what I think this seed is great for. If you just want to have somewhere where you build a house, you work out the rest later, then this has access to all the structures, it has access to the lava lakes, but easy never access and stuff like that, it has access to all the stuff you might want later, but you don't need to have it, because all you have here is, you know, access to somewhere great to build with all of the wood types, which again, you've already seen really, really early on, so yeah, I think that's pretty amazing if you ask me, and uh, as well as that, let's uh, actually go into each village to show you why they're all so cool, so this first one has a blacksmith, I haven't actually looked in the blacksmith, but I imagine it's pretty good stuff, because as you can see, apples everywhere, who doesn't love <laughs> seven apples? apples and an iron sword. Uh, you've got seven apples. You've also got access to a mob spawner just here. So if you dig down from these coordinates, so as you can see like that, uh, if you dig down from here, you're going to end up at a zombie spawner, which is a pretty average type of spawner, but it links into two two caves. There's one cave here, and there's also a cave on this side here if you dig through the wall. So yeah, access to two caves, two lots of stuff, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. Uh, and yeah, as you can see in here, it's a golden apple in the chest, as well as some seeds in case you want to farm some uh, melons, pumpkins, etc. All cool stuff to find pretty easily next to your village, so that's pretty awesome too. But that's just one of the three villages because there's one over here as well. This village isn't quite so notable, but it is bigger and it goes over the water, so if you like having your bridge villages, then guess what you covered here. Also, um, this has the very interesting, you know, qualification of having sugarcane all over the village, like overwrites it. And not only that, but the sugarcane overwrites a bit of the village where the sugarcane shouldn't even really spawn. So again, that might be something you really like. I think this is actually an interesting design for a sugarcane farm that accidentally spawned by itself. So again, maybe it's something you play around with. Maybe it's something you just look at once and go, ha ha ha, silly villages. I, I don't know. You're, you're cool entirely. Then of course, you've got the third village just over here. I love the acacia villages because they're so bright, especially when they're over water. Like just 
just look at the color of this and also as well as being just a nice bright village it ha oh, with the you know nice uh, bridge again it's also got its own blacksmith so this blacksmith isn't covered in apples because it has a iron sword an iron leggings and an iron pickaxe i did those the wrong way around but iron sword iron leggings and an iron pickaxe that's just for both those and boom that's what you get access to there so armor a pickaxe a sword a bunch of apples that's what the seed gives you for free but as well as all of that you can also try your random chances at the desert temple just over here so the desert temple from the front looks really really normal i i hear in um, a lot of people's seeds the uh, trees glitch into it so that's something worth checking out or a lot of people's worlds but also uh, you can see it like kind of goes down here so you've got a lot of like sandstone around which is kind of interesting but yeah if you do decide to go into it you can try your chances see what you randomly get Obviously, in my case, we've got, again, it's random. So, in my case, we've got an enchanted book with efficiency 5, a really, really good one. Uh, we've got a saddle. We've got uh, lots of rum flesh and more apples, because everyone loves those. And even a golden apple, which is, again, amazing combination of stuff to find from over there, that's Desert Temple. So, yeah, that is what you'll find in this Desert Temple. The fourth of the amazing things that surround what I think is just a perfect place to sell down. If you're curious the coordinates, these are the coordinates for that. From here, you can see all the stuff. And uh, I really think this is a place you want to go to sell down and build and do all that sort of stuff. Because, again, besides the jungle tree, you have all five trees in massive abundance all around here. And uh, I think you want to build something with one of those or of the stone or just anything you find around here and i think this is the perfect place to do it also tiny advantage of the savannah of other biomes is obviously there's no rain so yeah best of all worlds really if you ask me and uh, i think that's a good place to end today seed sunday so i hope you did all enjoy this week's seed sunday if you did all like it like then let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and let's know you do like uh seeing seeds again these ones have been really close to spawn let me know if you like that format or if you just want to see the whole world like do you want to see what's up with those snow biomes over there i don't think it's too interesting but is that the sort of thing you want to see i don't know let me know with the comments down below because i like to shape a lot of these series based on you know what you do and don't necessarily like because even though seed sunday is something i really like doing for myself uh this this series in particular is about what you want to see in a seed and yeah that, let, let me know with your words or don't i mean that's an option too and uh also just as a fun fact this is one of the first seed sundays that i recorded like half an hour before it goes live or something like that so with that said hope you all enjoyed today's video because i'll see you all in the next video so goodbye everyone